There has been a hot discussion about black and white not being colors. But they kinda are. To find out why that is, first look at why people think that they aren't colors. In color theory, every color is defined by three factors. The hue, the saturation, and the value. It seems quite obvious to say that black and white are not colors, because they have no hue and no saturation. They have just a value, a brightness. For ideal black, white and gray, this may be true, but for these ones, it isn't. They have both hue and saturation. When you put a few blacks next to each other, you start to realize that they are different in both saturation and hue. Quite the same for white, but less noticeable for your eyes. But maybe, maybe you could make a paint that has neither saturation nor hue. Maybe you could, but you could not measure it. To prove this, let's look at how pigments make color. A red pigment, for example, reflects more red light than other light to make it red. For a pigment to be neutral, it would have to reflect every color the same way. There are variations it will always reflect some color more than another color. It's practically unavoidable. Especially with light, at some point your measurement starts to affect the outcome. It's only when you get really accurate, but this means you can't measure exactly to the last photon. And if you can't do that, it's not perfect. It's not ideal white. So is that it? We will never have ideal black, white or grey. We will never have it perfect. Well, I just talked about grey. Ideal black and white are different things. Ideal black would be reflecting nothing and ideal white would be reflecting everything. For our measurement of reflectance, geographics have made up the term albedo. Zero means it reflects nothing and one means it reflects everything. Let's look at snow for example. It's not neutral and it's not one. It doesn't reflect everything but everything differently. What would be one? A perfect mirror. And that one would be overpowered. If we cannot reflect every light, maybe we can absorb everything of it. Even if it's really hard to come by and make pigments out of, there are black holes. And they absorb every light. So maybe there's still a chance. Kinda. There is still Hawking radiation. Even if it's not light, it's electromagnetic radiation coming out of black holes, making them evaporate in the long term. They are kinda not completely black in this term. Maybe this is the literal meaning of yin and yang. There is no true black and no true white. Anyway, that's it for today. If you want to see me paint a miniature, click here. It will be fun. Happy painting. This will be a confusing one.